We've been talking about masks for months, but many of us haven't considered how they make it impossible for those hard of hearing to read lips. Eyewitness News reporter Holly Stover tells us what the Northeast ISD is doing to make sure all students feel comfortable going back to school. A mask with a window. It's a simple thought, making communication more clear. Because they do rely on the face more than people realize. Um, Patricia Garcia so is the program coordinator for the deaf, hard of hearing and visually impaired for Northeast ISD. She says one of their students was worried about going back to school, saying if she couldn't read lips, how was she supposed to understand the lesson? That broke my heart and made me think we need to do something. She teamed up with Jan Greer to Haven. It takes me closer to probably 30 minutes to make one of these. The director um, for special education the services. They printed out instructions and got to work. I'm going to guess that right now we're closer to 700. About halfway to their goal of 1500. With the help of about 40 volunteers. They hope to make it there by the time school starts in mid-August. I'm somebody that says we got to do the right thing. And that includes helping their neighbors when they have more to spare. We're not the only school district that needs this. A window of understanding to make sure no student is left behind. Holly joins us live from Jackson Middle School. And Holly, that's one of the three campuses that has the regional day school for the deaf program. Yeah, Deborah, about 60 students are in that program here at Jackson Middle School, Oak Meadow Elementary, and Church Hill High School. But there are more than 200 students across the district who are hard of hearing. So that's why they need so many of these masks to begin with. And they could use all the help they could get to reach their goals. So if you'd like to help out, we've got the info posted online. We're reporting live in front of Jackson Middle, Holly Stouffer, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. What a great idea. Thanks, Holly.